What's going on guys? Welcome to week three of Facebook Ads Friday. So this is a series where every single week we take a look at two proven six figure Facebook ads. So these are Facebook ads which have thousands of comments, thousands of shares and thousands of engagements. The best thing about these Facebook ads though is that they are all still active. So if you are watching this video and you're still looking for that one product to commit to, invest yourself in, build a business around and try and make the most of Q4, then both of the products you're going to see in this video are great options. As always, we will be going that one step further. So I will be showing you the Shopify store, which is selling these products. So we can take a look at the design, the name of the store, their logo, color schemes, fonts, that sort of thing. So we can use them as inspiration if you do choose to pursue one of these products. I will also be taking a look at where you can source these products from as well. So I'll be giving you some different options so you know exactly what you can buy the products for, exactly what to sell the products for, and therefore you know what you're working with in terms of profit margin. So this is ad number one from a company called Snufflepore. We'll take a look at the primary text at the top before we take a look at the actual video creative itself. So cats are obsessed with our Snufflepore TM, trademark, accordion, and then a cat emoji. Quite a bold statement. It's going to kind of drum up um, curiosity from anybody who reads that. People are going to want to know exactly what the cat is obsessed with. And if you're a cat owner, then you're probably gonna stop and listen and watch the video. They have then three bullet points using emojis just to, again, capture attention. I've always found best personally within the pet niches, the use of emojis works best because it's quite a lighthearted and casual and kind of like fun loving niche. Bullet point number one is an actual benefit of the product for the person who's gonna buy it. It touches on a pain point for pet owners. One of those pain points is keeping your pets kind of stimulated during the day so they don't get bored and they don't get lazy and they get exercise. So guaranteed to entertain cats for hours. Number two protects furnitures from scratches. This is obviously another pain point I imagine for most cat owners. And finally free shipping plus 30% off expires soon. A bit of scarcity and a call to action to finish off the primary text. With that being said then let's take a look at the actual video ad creative itself. So let's go through some of the key points, some of the things that I want to point out, um, some of the reasons why I think it's been so successful. Number one is they have a really good hook in the beginning. So for the first kind of few seconds, I'm not sure if you'll hear that audio, but it's quite a um, mundane or quite a sinister music or kind of like a sad music with a, obviously a video of a, of a bored and anxious cat. And then it goes into a really kind of fun loving, upbeat music and a really active cat playing with the toy. So there's that contrast in the video which is gonna hook people in. It also points out the different features and benefits of the product at the bottom. And what it's doing is it's solving pain points for cat owners. So it entertains cats for hours when you're away. That's definitely something that as a dog owner that I'm concerned about or not necessarily worry about, but something I think about is what my dog gets up to while we're away, especially if we need to leave the house for three or four hours at a time. We need to leave him something to do so he doesn't get bored and start attacking the furniture. Anxiety and stress is definitely becoming a lot more popular in pets, um, especially since COVID, because obviously pets become more adjusted to having their owners at home all throughout the day because a lot of people started working from home. And then as people started to go out more, as COVID has kind of tailed off and people are going back to work, a lot more pets are starting to suffer with anxiety and that sort of thing. So it's kind of like a buzzword in there. And again, they're just solving a potential pain point for a cat owner. All in all, as you can see, a pretty decent ad. They focus primarily on the end user and through experience, 
they're always the best ads, they're always the ads that get the best results. It's also the reason why pet niches are so popular in the dropshipping space is because getting a video of a pet interacting with a product is a lot cheaper, quicker and easier to do. If you have to get a human to unbox the products and talk about the products and their experiences, it's usually a lot more expensive. Plus just having a slideshow of different clips of a product without actually featuring a human and just having music like that in the background is nowhere near as effective as actually having the end user using the product. All in all, very effective as we can see with the amount of engagements. So 10,000 engagements, one and a half thousand comments and one and a half thousand shares. However, engagements and purchases are two different things. So what we wanna have a look at now is two more different things. Number one is the most relevant comments, but I'm gonna start with newest. As promised in the introduction, both of these products are still current and active. So we'll take a look at some of the comments now and how recent they were. Jim, which has six weeks and six weeks. I'm not sure why these are at the top. We've got 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, 17 hours, 23 hours. Multiple comments in the last 24 hours, which indicates this is still being ran, is still active, and therefore it must be working. Let's go for the most relevant comments now and see what people are saying. We're looking for evidence, we're looking for proof, non-disputable verification that people have actually bought this product. So Sarah says she's just bought for the grand cats. We have Alexis who has just bought two. Catherine saying she got sucked in by that video. Like I said, that hook in the beginning of having the really sad and mundane music and then jumping into life with that kind of upbeat and active cat sucked Catherine in and she has got ahead and bought one. Alison Brown has just bought the kitten pack for her 12 week new old baby. Just what my two boys need, another toy, but this looks awesome to play with. Ordering for my five month old babies. I just ordered one to be sent to the Netherlands. That's interesting. And then Jim down here says these things are for real. Never seen our cats this crazy for a toy. So cats are obviously really enjoying it too. This person here says she's got mine. RC says she loves it. This person here, Roberta, says she's bought one for her daughter's boys. They're full of spirit. So as we can see, people are definitely buying this product. They're enjoying the product once they receive it, which all in all makes it a really great option for Q4. Let's take a look at their Shopify store though. What's interesting about this product, in case you missed it, it's not 100% clear, is you need two of these things to combine into what you saw in the video, which is why they have this section here. So you can get just the one, you can get a two pack, or you can actually get a four pack. What I like about this store though, is it's very minimalistic, but it's very modern and it's very kind of just to the point really. Everything on this page is there for a reason. So obviously they have a really nice clear image of the product with a white background. They have five blue stars. They're not yellow, they're not red, they're not black. They're in keeping with the overall theme and color scheme of the brand. They have three bullet points, which again addresses all those kind of key pain points which potential cat owner might be feeling or experiencing. And then they have this really cool section here, which I've never seen before. It's really slick actually. And the way it integrates in the product page is really good. They're also really upfront about their shipping. This is something you don't see very often with drop shipping stores at all. I'm a big fan of people who are, or make their shipping rates clear as crystal because it's much better to be upfront and say it could take seven to 12 business days than not say anything at all because then people won't know what to expect. It will lead to bad feedback scores on Facebook, which will lead to a decline in your ad performance. People don't mind waiting up to two weeks. And these guys are a great example of that. They also highlight their refund policy too. Again, I'm a big fan of people who do this or companies who do this because you're giving the customer answers to all of those questions in which they're naturally gonna be thinking about or want answers with or need answers to, to feel safe shopping with a business. If you checked out my video about the hardest thing about drop shipping, number one is trust. As for where you can source this product from, then you can actually get it from AliExpress. AliExpress gets a bit of hate when it comes to drop shipping, but as long as you can find suppliers, which number one is the quality of the product, you can check this by looking at the reviews of the product. So a thousand orders, 138 reviews, 4.8 overall. So the product must be of decent quality, otherwise it would be lower than that. Number two, it needs to be cost effective. Obviously you need to be able to sell a product and make a profit. So you can buy it here for £10 and 62 pence. These guys are selling it for £28, which leaves about £18 room, which is borderline a bit too cheap, but I would guess that most people are buying at least two of these things. And lastly, with a supplier, you need to make sure they have this 15 day delivery. This is an on-time guarantee. If you don't receive it by then, you 
can claim your money back from the supplier. So that's product number one. All in all, a really great product. It's perfect. It suits Q4 down to the ground because people go crazy for their pets and people go crazy for their children coming up to the Christmas period. So like I said in the intro, if you are looking for a potential product to invest yourself into and build a business around, I definitely believe this to be a great option. Moving on to product number two is a peculiar product. I usually, to be honest, stay away from things like this, but the data and the comments and the price of the product is undeniable, hence why I'm gonna feature it in this video. So starting with the primary text, we have a question. So want or need, it's gonna raise people's inquisitiveness, if that's even a word, or curiosity of what are they thinking about then or what are they talking about? It's gonna get people to stop basically and read the rest of the text or watch the video, which is the job of the primary text. These kawaii pillows, I don't know how to say that, are great gifts for all ages, super fluffy, super fluffy, soft, squishy, the best color ever, get yours here. Let's take a look at the video creative itself then. I'm not gonna play any music because it has got some trademarked music in, but you get the gist, it's this backpacked, kind of squashed down toy, which makes it ideal for drop shipping because it'll be cheap to ship. But then when you break the seal, it transforms into this big, super fluffy, soft and squishy um, teddy. Again, a super quick, super simple, super effective video ad. No doubt this will just be a video from the supplier. Um, there's no faces shown in this. If it was me and I wanted to make a proper business out of this, I'd definitely invest in buying one of these products myself. Um, probably a few of them, send them around to a few different micro influencers, get people to unpack it so you can see their face on camera and see what type of customers um, they are. Get some children involved, playing with them, cuddling with them, that sort of thing. But just goes to show really still can can make it work really, um, but I'm gonna say cutting corners because it is cutting corners really um, to use kind of footage like this, which is just from a supplier. Proof as always though is in the pudding. So 5.9 thousand reactions, two and a half thousand comments and 1.2K shares. Let's start off with the most relevant comments though and see if anybody's been buying one of these. So Geraldine says she has one and it's so cute, but a dog took it. So that could even be an angle. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on a flapping fish toy for a dog, but somebody had sold over a million dollars of it selling it to kids. So this could even be an option for this product, but you do the reverse. This is for kids, but you could sell it at an angle. The marketing angle could be for somebody's pet. Daniela says she's got a gray one and she loves it. Julie says she's just bought a unicorn one for her granddaughter. So again, that could be another marketing angle. You could start it off by every grandchild loves these, target grandparents who are gonna be buying gifts and toys and that sort of thing for their grandchildren. Danny says she loves hers. Lloyd here says he has the white and gray one, so he's bought two of them. Francis has just ordered hers. haley has got the 44 inch one. Debs has just ordered the ginger and white one. And these are all fairly recent as well within the last few weeks. But just to double check, let's go for newest comments. I've got one day ago, one day ago, one day, two days, two days, two days. So they're all fairly relevant, six days, one week. There's not as many comments going through as the previous ad, but as we just saw, people are definitely buying this product, which in turn, again, makes it a great potential product to capitalize on Q4. Let's take a look at the Shopify store itself. Now, the first thing you might notice is the price. How can anybody sell anything for $8.90 using Facebook ads and make a profit? The way they're doing it is they're probably using that price to suck people in, but then when you actually go up to the decent sizes, you get it gets more expensive, so $35, and then the biggest one is actually $60, so it's probably a case of most people are buying these two bigger ones. Let's move through the product description, then we can see they've got a YouTube video embedded. This looks like it's from a supplier, again, just more stock footage. They also have a today's promotion, which will probably still be there tomorrow. They've probably just got it on there to try and build in a bit of scarcity or FOMO for anybody who comes to this page. They've got some images to demonstrate quite clearly how tall and how big these things are so you know what size to order. And then they've got this nice little handy image here just to point out the different features of the product. As for price then, let's take a look at what we can source these for. So this is one of the biggest suppliers of the products that I found. We can see there's five different sizes here five different sizes that these guys are going for. I believe there's 2.2 centimeters to an inch. So if we take this kind of middle of the road one at 44 inches, that's gonna translate into a 
about 90 centimeters, I would say. So they're selling it for $36. We can buy a 90 centimeter for 15 pounds, which is about 17, 18 dollars, which leaves give or take about 16, 17 dollars of room. My advice with this product though, because I want to be as honest and upfront as possible, it's definitely towards the most difficult end of being able to sell from day one and make a profit. If you were to pursue this product and you want to sell this product, my advice would be to couple it with some other similar products. So instead of building a one product store around this one particular one, have a squishy store or have a plush store or just have in general a teddy store and sell lots of different teddies that when a grandparent comes onto they might end up buying more than one item they might buy two or three items and in turn that's going to really bump up your profit margins with that being said though i'm still confident this is a great product i'd still stand by it we've just seen that there's got some recent comments and it's also got some comments from people actually buying the product so there's evidence people are buying it there's evidence it's still current so it's definitely still a good product to consider and so with that being said that is a wrap on facebook ads Friday week three. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've stuck with me this long. If you have, make sure you subscribe so you can see some more of my content. Please drop me a like as well to help grow the channel so I can help out more people. And I'll see you in the next one.